I'm going to be doing a streetcar ride. The Tempe streetcar opened up on May 20th on a Friday. Here's the route. It runs about three miles long. There's about 14 stops. I'm just going to be doing a little loop around downtown. And here's a map of uh, the brochures they were handing out. And there's also brochures about all the artwork that's used at all the uh, train stops. So starting out across from Tempe Beach Park, and uh, kind of nice. There's a picture of the map. Here are the trains. These run on actually um, battery power as well as a catenary line above the tracks. These have sort of a two-on-two -two configuration. And crossing Rio Salado Parkway, now heading southbound on Ash Avenue. Crossed over the light rail tracks. I think that's Fifth Street. signs in the train kind of telling you which stop is next. It has that new train smell which is nice. Across from the um, road there is a Whole Foods supermarket. There are so many people living in downtown Tempe that they really needed a supermarket down there. If you look ahead you might see a Circle K on the corner and I lived in, in uh, off of 5th Street in Mill. I used to go to the Circle K which is still there. One of the few places still around. going to be turning eastbound on the University Drive. I think there used to be a bike shop on that corner between Ash and the railroad tracks. There's the Whole Foods. I think it's just apartments and grocery stores. Next around the corner of University and Mill it used to be Rundle's Liquor Store on the corner of Mill and University. See the new Weston Hotel off in the corner. We'll be going southbound on Mill Avenue. This, the building under construction it used to be a uh, Chili's restaurant. There also was a grocery store, I think, in that area. And there's also a Tower Records, which was really great to have. That's one of my favorite places in Old Town Tempe. Getting off the 9th Street stop. Kind of looking around at all the construction, all the tall buildings. And here comes the train heading northbound on Mill. Lots of friendly staff, lots of security. Crossing over University right now. I don't remember it was on that corner. It's a Pita Jungle now. Um, Jack in the Box ate there a lot. The only thing I remember standing in Old Town uh, ate there a lot at college. Uh, there's the new Weston Hotel. Near Old Town Tempe, you're sure to find a homeless person sleeping on a bench and I found one so that's not unusual for Tempe So going northbound on Mill Avenue, don't really recognize too many buildings right here. That's the old Valley Art Theater, so you see a lot of movies there. Kind of weird art films, not your normal movies. I'm not sure if that used to be a Hooters there. I forget what it used to be. I 
That's the old uh, post office on Fifth Street and Mill. That's the only thing I can remember sta standing in Old Town. There's the Tempe Mission Palms Hotel off in the distance there. I think that was there when I was in college in 85. Crossing over the light rail tracks again. See Hayden View off in the distance. That's the old Hayden, mill, Hayden Flower Mill. Um, it was actually functioning when I was there in college in 85. It was pretty noisy. We used to have train tracks going to it, dropping off grain. And uh, it's abandoned now. Uh, that's the conductor up front. We did a little stop across from Hayden Ferry, the Rio Salado Parkway. Again, certain areas have the catenary line going across, and other areas don't. They didn't want the lines going down Hill Avenue. Now I'm going to be heading westbound on uh, Rio Salado Parkway. Crossing Mill Avenue, going uh, westbound at Rio Salado Parkway, and that's Tempe Beach Park on the other side. Free parking, by the way, on weekends. That used to be the old America West Airlines headquarters, and I'm going to get off here. That's it. It's a sort of a short loop going around downtown.